Hey, welcome back. Another day in the life of the Grimwards. Um, we're going to go over, this isn't really a street legal fleet, but we're going to go over another piece of equipment at, that we use at the house, or a couple pieces of equipment. Um, this is our TYM 394 tractor, 37.4 uh, horsepower, something like 27 horsepower to the PTO. Um, we bought this tractor in June of 2020 and we've been using it around the house. I have been doing some side work with it, um, depending on what's been going on. The, the first thing I really wanna talk about is if you're looking to buy a tractor, you're looking to do something with a tractor, um, there's, there's a couple, there's three people that I kind of watched in the beginning um, to learn as much as I can, and there's thousands of videos out there. The first one is I want to give a big shout out to Mike Morgan, Outdoors with the Morgans. He is very instrumental and in, in really helping me to pick out the tractor I wanted and what I needed to understand and how it all works. So if you're looking for information, he is a great source. Uh, the other one is Adam at Hometown Acres. He is a he does a lot of tractors with firewood but he is a numbers guy, so he can really break it down to you if you're trying to sell firewood, you're trying to do tractor work. He's, he's really the numbers guy that breaks it down. Uh, the other person I wanna thank, and uh, we'll show you some more of the implements and things we have to go with the tractor is Hank at Hamiltonville Farm. Um, I knew at some point uh, that I was gonna need a grapple and I knew some point I was gonna need a land plane and after watching his channel, I want to give a shout out to Homestead Implements. Um, that's who I bought my grapple and the land plane from. So they're uh, based out of New York, American made. Um, if you are a veteran, you get a discount. So, you know, look into that if you are a veteran. But great stuff. I have used it and used it hard. And uh, for the most part, everything's held up. I had a little issue the other day grading the backyard here with the land plane, but hopefully in the future we'll get that fixed. But anyway, this is just showing you the tractor and then the other piece of equipment I wanna to talk to you about, which is not really to talk about, um, is my chainsaw. This is a steel 036. I've had this chainsaw for about 24 years. Works really good. Um, keep it maintenanced, keep a sharp chain on it and this one will last forever. Yes, would I like to have a nice new steel? They're really expensive. Um, but keep watching in the future. We are looking into um, a couple of the Hulse Forma, the Chinese knockoffs. So that might be coming in the future. And when we get that, we'll do a couple videos about that. Hey, welcome back. So we talked about the tractor earlier, the TYM 394. When I ordered the tractor, I knew a couple things I was gonna need right off the bat. One is a brush hog, bush hog, whatever, however you want to refer to it. This is a Southern brand. That's what my dealer had and that's what he sold me. This is a five foot brush hog, uh, rotary cutter. It's been working great. Hadn't had any problems. Uh, the only issues I had while using it is um, I had done a job and, and broke the shear pin Went to Tractor Supply and bought that same three pack Mike Morgan did, and I went through all three by the end of that job. So I don't know what the difference, this is just a number two hardened bolt, shear bolt, but Tractor Supply, I don't know if they're a number one, and they say they're a number two, but not sure. Uh, next thing is the bucket. Came with the bucket, it is a 66 inch bucket. This is what actually came with the tractor. And then I also have the box blade. And this is, this is a five foot box blade. Came with the scar fires, exactly how you see it. Um, got a little sandbag weights on there for now, but uh, these are all category one attachments for the rear. Um, there's tons of videos out there when you order a tractor or what you think you're going to be doing with that tractor what you need so do a little bit of research watch some videos i agree in the beginning your box blade you know and a brush hog if that's what you're going to be doing should be your first couple of implements um, and then after that depending what you want to do then you can change up from there 
So the next thing we'll talk about is the grapple. Uh, again, <clears throat> this is a Homestead Implements grapple. This is a Pinnacle series. The top is 53 inches and the bottom. Sorry, I don't have all these memorized. And the bottom is right at 61 and a half. So again, great, great implement. If you think you're gonna do anything with logs, firewood, brush removal, this thing is amazing. This is the root style, they call it. Um, if you go on the website, you can pick out different sizes uh, for whatever tractor you have. Um, but this thing works great. We use it a lot, especially now doing firewood and firewood logs. Lacey's in the, Lacey wants to hang out today and walk around. So we'll move back here. Again, Homestead Implements Land Plane. This is the Pinnacle LE Series, 74 inches wide. Uh, again, this is something uh, I knew that with the box blade, you know, the box blade is what you'll find is more in the, like a bulldozer. It's really made to move a lot of material. Land plane is really for maintenance and final grading. Um, I love this land plane and it's kind of made the box blade a little obsolete because it comes with the scarifiers too. Um, I don't have the exact prices right now, but I, like I said, go on the, uh, website homestead implements and you know, it gives you all the information how however size how the money they have two different series uh they have like a regular and then they have the pinnacle series so you can pick which it's one is medium duty and i think one's heavier duty so that's about it um thanks for watching if you would hit the like button subscribe share it with your friends and we'll see you on the next one. All right, so I forgot one. I forgot, this is one of the other more versatile things when you first buy a tractor. Um, we don't do a lot of pallet moving, but a good set of pallet forks are gonna help you, especially this is, this is a third of the cost of the grapple. So when you first start out, depending on your budget, this might be something you're gonna wanna get. This is a Titan brand, um, has, remov has movable forks, depending on what you're doing. It also has provisions for hay spikes. Um, so that's really nice. It's already there. Don't, don't have to weld them in. Comes with heavy duty steps. And then these are the 48 inch uh, fork style.